Mangabe Reports is a series that shares evergreen articles from Mangabe.com, read by myself, Mike DiGirolamo. This episode's feature article is Spectacular New Fish Species is First to be Named by Maldivian Scientist, by Liz Kimbrough on the 11th of March, 2022. Out in the azure waters and colorful corals of the Maldives, a resplendent, rainbow-hued fish has become the first to be named and described by a Maldivian researcher. New to science, the rose-veiled fairy ras, Cyrilabris finifinma, is named in the local Devehi language. Finifinma means rose, and is a tribute to the island's pink-hued national flower, as well as the color of the fish. A description of the species was published recently in the journal Zoo Keys. It has always been foreign scientists who have described species found in the Maldives without much involvement from local scientists, even those that are endemic to the Maldives. Ahmed Najib, the biologist from the Maldives Marine Research Institute, who named the fish, said in a press release. This time, it is different, and getting to be part of something for the first time has been really exciting, especially having the opportunity to work alongside top ichthyologists, fish biologists, on such an elegant and beautiful species. The new rainbow-hued fish came to light when researchers more closely examined one widespread species of fish, Cyrilabris rubisquamis, and found, upon closer look, two distinct species. The differences between the two species are subtle, such as the height of the spines and the number of scales on different body parts, but DNA analyses have confirmed the finding. Now, the known range of both species is much smaller, important information to have when making plans for conservation. This exemplifies why describing new species and taxonomy in general is important for conservation and biodiversity management, said lead author and University of Sydney doctoral student Yikai T. The Maldives is a nation of small islands situated about 800 kilometers or 500 miles south of India. The island chain boasts the seventh largest coral reef system on the planet. Until early this year, the mesophotic zone of the Maldives reefs, lying some 300 to 150 meters or 100 to 500 feet below the ocean's surface, hadn't been explored by scientists. In January, an expedition down to 122 meters or 100 to 500 feet below sea level unveiled at least eight new-to-science species. The expedition was part of the California Academy of Sciences' Hope for Reefs initiative and included researchers from the MMRI, the University of Sydney, and Chicago's Field Museum. Nobody knows these waters better than the Maldivian people, said Luis Rocha, curator of ichthyology at the CAS and co-director of the Hope for Reefs initiative. Our research is stronger when it's done in collaboration with local researchers and divers. The colorful and charismatic Cyrilabris fish are already traded as aquarium fish, including the rose-veiled fairy wrasse, Rocha said. Many marine fish that make their way to aquariums are raised or caught unethically in the wild, according to Robert Woods, a fish enthusiast and owner of Fish Keeping World, in a 2019 commentary for Mongabay on how to ensure that you buy aquarium fish ethically, the link which is provided in the show notes. Though the species is quite abundant and therefore not currently at a high risk of overexploitation, it's still unsettling when a fish is already being commercialized before it even has a scientific name, Rocha said. It speaks to how much biodiversity there is still left to be described from coral reef ecosystems. This has been a special Manga Bay audio report, original article by Liz Kimbrough. I am your reader, Mike DiGirolamo. Special projects like this are made possible by our Patreon supporters. Please consider becoming a monthly sponsor via our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Bay. We are a nonprofit news outlet, so just as little as a dollar per month will really help us offset the production costs and hosting fees to help us keep making more content like this. Keep up with all of Mongabay's news from Nature's Frontline at mongabay.com or get updates from Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram and TikTok, where our handle is at Mongabay. Thanks for listening.